What's the number one piece of advice I would give to a solo podcaster? That is what we're gonna talk about today, so let's get right to it. Hey everybody, Crystal here today, and I'm excited because we're gonna talk to solo podcasters. So if you have an interview show, then you might find some value, but let's be honest, we are talking to you, the solo podcaster, because I wanna tell you the number one tip that has helped me have so many solo podcast episodes and absolutely love doing it. I don't just kind of like it. I love my solo podcast. And here's my tip. Interview yourself. This should be like number one, no brainer above everything else. This should be your highest priority because people want to know what you have to say, right? That's why they're there. That's why they're listening to your solo podcast, but they don't want to just listen to you talk. They don't want to listen to you talk about things. This is what's going on in my life. This is why I'm so fantastic. No, nobody has time for a narcissistic podcast. They want you to teach them or entertain them or give them something of value. If you've been around here for a while, you know value, value, value is, it's just my favorite word. I love the word value. It's why people show up, it's why they subscribe, and it's why they keep coming back to listen to you every single week. So whenever I sit down to plan my podcast episodes, I always ask myself, if I were somebody listening to this podcast, like I kind of like get in the mind of my listener, what questions would they ask me? So for example, I have a podcast episode all about your podcast trailer. So I ask myself, what are the questions that people have actually asked me? And what are the questions that I get asked like on a regular basis through email, through social media, through like all the places? And what questions did I have when I first started? Because that's kind of a mesh, like a combination of who my ideal listener is. It's like me from five years ago, before I ever started a podcast, even thought about starting a podcast. And it's a mixture of that person and someone who's really thinking about stepping in to podcasting in a really big way. Like they're almost there. They're so committed. They're just trying to fill out, is this for me? Is this really what I want to do? So whenever I take all these questions that I have in my head that I've either gotten or that I had myself, I write them down. And then when I'm actually doing my solo podcast, I interview myself. Now you don't have to go through and be like, Crystal, what do you think about a podcast trailer? Well, Crystal, thank you so much. No, that's like quick trip, like it's <laughs> quick trip to the loony bin is the first thing that I think of. It's like my family would be like, mm, like, Mama's been social distancing for too long. Like we need to we need to get her out like into the world because she's lost her mind. That's not what I'm talking about. I want you to write down your questions and then say, "Hey, I get asked this a lot or I've had this thought before and boom boom boom, give your points, teach on your topic, however it is that you do your podcast, but I want you to interview yourself because this is so important. It just makes the it's not a conversation, right? Cuz it's a solo podcast but it helps your listeners follow along. And I do think of my podcast as a conversation. Yes, it's rhetorical. People aren't actually <laughs> answering me whenever I'm speaking, but I like to think that my listeners hear what I'm saying and they're nodding along. Or they're like, oh girl, you're crazy. Or, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Because I try to be funny. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I, I'm hoping and I'm like imagining that these are the reactions that my listeners are having while I'm speaking into my microphone. So that is my number one tip. If you are a solo podcaster, I encourage you to interview yourself. It's gonna be weird at first. And you may feel like this is ridiculous. Like, what am I doing? But I promise you, this works every single time this works. So if you are a solo podcaster, put in the comments below what your podcast is about. Tell me what your show is, tell me what your topic is, and tell me who your audience is because I wanna get the conversation going. I want people to comment on other people's podcasts. I want them to go listen. I want you to shout them out. I wanna tell other people about you on this video channel. So make sure you put in the comments what your podcast is about, what the name is, and who the audience is. 
Okay, let's get back to the video. So I hope that you found this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. That way you don't miss any future podcasting videos that we put out every single week. You can find some other cool videos right here, somewhere in this area. I just hit my microphone, <laughs> but make sure that you check back in with us and sign up for the free five-day Create Your Podcast Bootcamp. The link is in the description below this video, and I will talk to you soon. Keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.